The Assetto Corsa Competizione GT4 Pack DLC will release to the public build of the simulation this July the 15th. Prior to release day, we're going to take a look at some of the unique, varied and wonderful cars that are included in this pack. 11 brands of GT4 racing machine make up this new DLC and each and every car has its own unique characteristics and behaviours. So without further ado, we're going to look at each of these cars very briefly in turn and tell you a little bit more about the contents of this DLC. But bear in mind, this is only a brief overview. Stay tuned to the Race Department YouTube channel for more detailed content dropping later on this week. So, here we go. The Assetto Corsa Competizione GT4 Pack DLC due to be released on PC July the 15th, 2020. First up, we have the Audi R8 LMS GT4. A beautiful car comes with four liveries as per the 2019 European GT4 Championship. The car's around 495 brake horsepower depending on the BOP restrictions and runs in normally aspirated V10 engine. For the last couple of seasons, this GT4 baby from Audi has won numerous race victories and championship titles and has been updated for the 2020 season. We've got the 2019 variant in the Sim DLC and the car is a very compliant machine, a vehicle that's perhaps quite user friendly for the less experienced driver. Of course, it's got longer braking distances. It requires the concentration of a GT4 car. Of course it does, and it is a very competitive proposition. As one would fully expect from a Kunos DLC, the force feedback and the audio are beyond reproach and this is a well poised, very neat, very compliant race car and one of the more enjoyable vehicles in this wild and varied DLC pack. Very similar to its GT3 Big Brother, this will be a very popular car in online servers I am sure. Alpine, Alpina, Alpine, Alpine! Name it what you will, this little French beauty is one of the more unique and exciting cars for the DLC pack. A new brand into Assetto Corsa Competizione and the Assetto Corsa franchise, the A110 GT4 is a lightweight, nimble, much lower to the ground racer than some of the other cars in the pack, but is compromised by a lack of horsepower. Great for the twisty stuff, not so good on the long distance tracks such as Monza. The little 1.8 litre turbocharged four cylinder engine doesn't pack much of a punch, but the car is one of the most enjoyable of the pack to race. You really need to hang this thing out on the line to get a good time from it. The little Alpine A110 GT4 is a beautiful inclusion to this DLC. Just like with the other cars, this one is from the 2019 GT4 European series and as such comes packed with seven official liveries from the series. The Aston Martin Vantage GT4 is one of the newer models of GT4 that raced last season in the European GT4 Championship. Its first year of competition was 2019 and at a relatively lightweight of 1400 kilograms, the Aston Martin is one of the more straightforward cars, shall we say, from the series. 4 litre V8 twin turbo engines at about 350 kilowatts of power. So, it's reasonably fast in a straight line, it's reasonably good around the corners, and it's reasonably lightweight. It looks beautiful, let's be honest. It's a gorgeous machine, one of the finest ones within any level of tin top endurance racing cars. 
In terms of the pack, the DLC for ACC, the Aston Martin comes much like the Alpine with seven liveries from the 2014 season. So you've got plenty of choices there and this is one of my favourite cars. I'm an Aston Martin fanboy, love this machine and I hope you will too when you get out on track and give it a drive for yourself this 15th of July. The BMW M4 GT4, well, what can we say? It looks like a touring car, so that makes it, as far as I'm concerned, absolutely exceptional. Nominated as 2018's Race Car of the Year at the Professional Motorsport World Expo Awards, this six-cylinder inline 4-valve 2.9-litre engine is enough to give around 431 horsepower based on balance of performance. The car is, as all GT4 cars, ever so slightly on the high side, so there's plenty of body roll, but it can monster those curbs, making it the ideal tool of choice on many of the shorter tracks on the GT4 calendar. The car comes with eight beautiful liveries, one or two famous names driving the machine in the 2019 European season. It is a beautiful looking car. It has that distinct BMW engine note that we've all come to know and love as well. Its first season in customer hands was 2018 and it continues to be one of the strongest cars in any GT4 competition in the world. It came out on top of the GT4 class, the GT World Challenge Asia and 24 hour series last season and more success will come its way in future, I am absolutely sure. The BMW M4 GT4 looks like a touring car, drives like a go-car. The Chevrolet Camaro GT4R. What a ridiculous car, but absolutely glorious in its own right. Available for about $260,000, the GT4R is just a masterpiece of barmy. Huge, huge car, a 6.2 litre V8, as heavy as a house and kicking out around 480 brake horsepower. The Camaro GT4R is one of the real definitions of why GT4 racing is just plain exceptional. It's so different to everything else. It's big, it's understeering, it growls like an angry cat fighting a pack of dogs. It is just legendary engineering, American motorsport at its absolute finest. It was an amazing piece of kit, it continues to be an amazing piece of kit and I am sure, although not necessarily the most competitive car in the field, it will be unbelievably popular with fans of this DLC. It comes with two liveries, it looks like a beast, it drives like a beast, absolutely love it. If you like your racing thrills, big, wild and heavy, then this is, without shadow of a doubt, the car for you. Just don't drive it in the wet because it's a nightmare. The Janetta G55 GT4, one of the oldest cars within the pack, built pride of Yorkshire, a beautiful British car with an engine straight from an American van, this is one of the slower cars within the pack requires a very unique driving style to say the least. It looks great, it sounds curious, but it's not that good in a straight line. But that being said, the car has taken around 100 wins in some of the globe's biggest GT4 races. They stood atop the step of the podium in the Dubai 24 hours, so this is a fast car, but maybe just lacking a little bit of the outright performance as some of the other cars within this pack. The Genetta G55 GT4 comes resplendent in a single livery and you can drive it from July the 15th. It's an interesting drive and one I very much enjoy. The KTM Expo GT4. Well, well, what can we say about this one? One of the most unique and peculiar looking cars in the entire GT4 sphere. The KTM Expo is an angular beast. 
with a 2 litre TFSI engine. It doesn't pack much of a punch on the straight lines, but it's great in the corners, so you've really got to hustle the car around in order to achieve the maximum lap time. The KTM Expo is certainly a very popular choice for fans trackside. Running to about 360 horsepower, dependent on BOP, this is one of the slower cars in a straight line, but one of the lightest, having had a significant amount of modification thanks to BOP to keep it in and around the same sort of level as some of the other cars within the European GT4 Championship category. It's very much a Marmite car something that you will either love or loathe in equal measure depending on how your driving preferences fall within this pack. The KTM Expo GT4, a very unique car and comes with three liveries as part of this DLC pack. It is quick in the right hands, on the right circuit, but it's always an absolutely entertaining drive. This is easily the most beautiful sounding car in the entire history of beautiful sounding cars, the Maserati MC GT4. An amazing piece of Italian engineering that absolutely screams and pops and bangs in any given situation. One of the older models introduced in 2016, this car has no electronic trickery. That's right. ABS and traction control are things that do not have a place in the hands of this beautiful GT4 Maserati. The real world Maserati GT4 team don't take this car out when it rains. It's just too difficult and on edge. There are certain tracks you just absolutely do not want to drive this car. But with such a beautiful downshifting noise, you'll find it incredibly hard to stay away from it which will make it mightily uncompetitive compared to the rest of the GT4 pack. But it just doesn't matter because when it sounds like this, you're not bothered about lap times. You're just looking for an opportunity to shift down the gears and listen to the engine and exhaust growl a beautiful concerto. Coming with just a single livery, the Maserati Gran Turismo MC GT4 is beauty and poetry in motion. McLaren have an incredibly successful customer racing program outside of their Formula 1 endeavours. While the Grand Prix team are picking up form out on circuit, their GT endeavours have been nothing short of spectacular. And the 570S GT4 is another example of that driving pure beauty and emotion. Raced by multiple teams, the car is one of the finest, most poised vehicles in the GT4 DLC pack. It comes complete with five liveries as part of the GT4 pack DLC for Assetto Corsa Competizione and is, as I say, one of the more compliant, one of the more neutral cars within the pack. It's newest of all of the GT4 cars and it's balanced to the point where it's usually reasonably competitive across any given circuit that the SRO calendar runs on within ACC. The McLaren 570S GT4 will no doubt be a fan favourite and a great weapon to take out onto the virtual racetracks off and online. The Mercedes AMG GT4, what can I say, Mercedes cannot fail at anything they do. Presented for the 2017 24 hour race at Spa Frankishon, the little AMG has proven to be an incredibly competitive car regardless of the championship in which it runs. This is an absolutely incredible piece of race engineering. A 4 litre V8 bi turbo engine powers the car up to 510 brake horsepower, dependent, as always, on that VOP. A little bit heavy on the front end, just like its GT3 counterpart, the car is prone to understeer, but once you tune that out with the car setup and the right driver behind the wheel, this is a mightily competitive proposition. 
there is no wonder the Mercedes AMG GT4 has been the car of choice for many a year in GT4 racing competition. In the Assetto Corsa DLC pack, the Mercedes comes with 10 liveries, the most livery, the most selected car in the championship, and when you drive it, you can see why. Last, but by no means least, comes the car with the longest name in GT4 category racing, the beautiful Porsche 718 Cayman GT4 Club Sport. Exceptionally light, nimble on its toes as far as GT4 cars go, and packing a reasonable punch down the streets, the 718 Cayman GT4 Club Sport represents pure motorsport. It is a fabulous, well-balanced vehicle. It comes with enough horsepower to get you down the start-finish straight at Monza at 425 brake horsepower, depending, as always, on BOP, but enjoying one of the lightest cars on the grid at just 1,300 kilograms. It has that rasping, glorious, wonderful Porsche sound we come to know and love, and it has four liveries in the Assetto Corsa Competizione GT4 Pack DLC. I'm sure you will thoroughly enjoy this car as you will thoroughly enjoy the 10 that preceded it. This has been our quick wrap up of the 11 cars that come in this new DLC and stay tuned to Race Department on YouTube of course for more in-depth look and review of the pack and gameplay footage from each and every car. I hope you've enjoyed it, my name's been Paul, this has been RDTV, thank you for tuning in, till next time, ta-da!